So we're going to start with solving each problem. So we're going to use a, a problem that's fairly simple. Okay, so Sean is three, three times as old as Jean. Eight years from now, Sean will be twice as old as Jean. How old is Jean? Okay, so paano ito i-break down? Now the problem is, ito muna, bakit ang hirap ng age problems? Tama? Sa lahat ng klase ng word problems, since I started teaching um, for the civil service exam, so this was in 2014, 2015, Ito yung isa sa mga pinakakinatatakutan ng mga tao, yung age problems. Bakit? Kasi ang dami niyang working pieces. Okay? For example, ito palang line na Sean is three times as old as Jean, yung iba hindi na alam kung paano yan, kung maga, paano ko ito itatranslate. So pag sabi ko Sean is three times as old as Jean, ang unang tanong, sino mong mas matanda, si Sean o si Jean? So some people don't know where to start. And again, that's okay. Hihimayin naman natin ngayon. Another problem is this, hindi lang siya basta isang statement Hindi lang siya basta isang equation. Kadalasan, meron ka pang time period na inintindi. So, pagdating mo sa English, may tenses pa. Intindihin mo pa siya. Okay? And then, on top of that, algebra problem pa siya. So, isosolve mo pa yung equation, no? Mag-transpose ka pa. Okay? Magka-cancel ka pa. Mag-divide ka pa. Minsan, mag-square root ka pa. Or mag-square ka pa. Uh, para mahanap mo yung tamang sagot. So, again, sa ang dami niyang working components. Yeah, and dami nating passers sa yan, kuya, if you're looking for proof na if if this is going to be helpful or if nakaya nyo rin, kinaya ni Marie, kinaya nilang lahat. We have so many people coming on board sa Facebook na nakapasa na, yung iba bumbero na, polis na, yung iba na promote na, so yung mga bossing dyan, so congratulations sa inyo. So sila yung proof na kaya nyo rin, di ba? Iba-ibang age pa yan, kasi yung iba, mommy or daddy na nung nagsimula sa team like, ah. so kung bata ka watching this, kaya mo rin to, okay? This type of problem, asahan ninyo, kadalasan kapag may, may, may college entrance exams, meron din ito. Okay? Now, bakit ang daming problema, ang daming working parts? If you look at uh, age problems, you have to have at least four skills. Four skills. Ano yon? Una, reading comprehension. Kasi nga again, ang unang problema, the problem is in English. So, kung magaling ka sa math, magaling ka sa equations, pero hindi ka magaling sa English, pagdating mo sa word problems, medyo mahirap, No? Kasi hindi mo, hindi mo maintindihan yung tanong. Paano mo isosolve, right? Kung equation siya, di ba? Nakalagay kahit na, ano pa yan, kahit na calculus question pa yan, okay sa'yo. E kaya lang, word problem. So, medyo mahihirapan tayo doon. Now, dito na papasok yung isa sa mga myths na gustong-gusto kong tinitibag. Hi, Sir JM. Good morning. Yan. Sir JM, natutulog ka pa ba? <laughs> Kasi pag, pag nagmamadaling araw na live si Coach Shabby, nandun ka. Tapos pag morning, nandito ka din ulit. Isa sa mga pinaka-hardworking na teachers yan. Okay. So, um, Marie Ren, thank you for the for the halo-halo party. Yeah. Um, ang problema sa, sa translation, pagdating sa word, pro, word problems is, here in the Philippines, a lot of people think na kapag magaling ka sa math, hindi ka magaling sa, type nyo nga. <laughs> Tingnan natin, i-prove natin to. Pag magaling ka daw sa math, hindi ka magaling sa, anong subject? Diba? Sabi nila, ayan, no? Mr. Nice Guy says English. J teacher, si Sir JM, English. Yes, sabi nila, pag magaling na ako sa math, hindi magaling sa English. O, pag magaling sa English, hindi magaling sa? Ayan, baliktad lang yun, eh. Pag magaling ka sa English, hindi ka magaling sa? Math. O, Mr. Nice Guy, Carmi, tama. Ganon, diba? So, ano nangyayari? Sometimes, kids, bata pa sila, yan, iniisip na agad nila yun, ay, ibig sabihin, limitation to sa akin. Eh, magaling kasi ako sa math, eh. So, hindi ako magaling sa English. So, yung mga batang magaling sa math, naniniwala na sila, buong buhay nila ganun. Kaya hindi na sila mahilig magbasa. Parang, hindi ayoko, hindi ako magaling sa English. Magaling, pero magaling ako sa math. Ganun. E pagdating mo sa college entrance exam, pagdating mo sa civil service, word problems. O, naintindihan mo nga yung tanong, hindi mo naman alam ma-isolve kasi magaling ka sa English or hindi ka magaling sa math. O, naintindihan mo sana kung equation, kala English yung tanong, so hindi mo rin naintindihan. So, mali ka rin. Diba? So, isang myth yan, isang malaking myth yan, hindi yan totoo. Okay? Ano ang ibig sabihin ko doon? Both of them, English and math, are skills, okay, that you can learn. Kaya lang, yung same dedication that we have for the subject that we like, sana ibibigay natin for the subjects we, we don't particularly like or we are not particularly good at. Kasi there are things that come easier for other people. Ganun lang talaga, okay? Uh, for example, um, I would use this example, si... si Si Coach Chubby, di ba? Kakambal ko, identical twins kami, right? We have the same DNA. She's better at languages than I am. So, nag-stay siya sa naga ng 
two years, marunong na siya magbikulano. Ayun. Ako, hindi ako masyadong maano sa language. I can understand, pero I have a problem speaking the language. No? Now, bakit? Una sa lahat, kasi takot ako sumubo. Mahihain ako eh. Um, so, yun. Th- these are three, two things na ano eh, na hindi, hindi, hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na dito lang ako magalay. Hindi. Effortan mo. Ayan. So, sabi ni Rob Layuge, not through math and language or coordinate. Yes. Um, honestly, ang more than the skills in each subject, ang namamayani dyan is disiplina at dedication. Kung meron kang study skills for math, apply the same study skills for English. So, huwag kayong nagpapaniwala dun sa, sa myth na yan. Alam ko, narinig ko rin yan eh, nung bata ako. Ay, yung bata, ano, magaling sa math? Ay, naku, mahina yan sa English. So, it always fascinates me when people say that. And then they get impressed na parang, ay, hindi, bakit, bakit both ganun? Kasi bakit? Kasi, again, lumaki tayo dun sa culture na sinasabi yun sa atin. Pero hindi yun totoo. Okay? So, you have to give yourself a fair chance. Now, kapag reading comprehension ang problema, mag, ano tayo, aralin din natin. Kaya lang, minsan, ito ang realidad, ha? Some people can do math at, uh, sabi natin, grade 12 level dahil medyo under utilized yung kanilang language skills. They can do language at, uh, sabi natin, grade 6 level. So, ito, grade 12, grade 6. Kunyari lang, ha? So, anong gagawin mo? Habol mo to. Right? You can start here, build it up. Yung iba frustrated kasi pag, okay, ako, grade 12, ako naman grade 12 ako sa language, grade, grade 6 lang ako sa math. Hindi e English na lang lagi aralin ko. Hindi naman. Aralin mo to para makahabol. Okay? Kasi pareho lang yun eh. <laughs> uh, all the, the, the techniques that I teach you, it's all rooted in the fact that we understand the question, again, reading comprehension and English skills, and creativity. So it's it's for the same two uh, subjects. Okay? So, wag nyo ililimit yung sarili ninyo. Okay. Teacher May, mahina ako pareho sa English at math. <laughs> Pero I'm trying hard to learn both. Nako, Teacher May, it's the right, di ba? It's the right attitude. Eh. And again, hindi ko lang sasabihin, I'm strong on both, no? I'm also learning uh, these things. Some of us lang, sabihin natin, are learning a little bit harder na yung mga topics kasi ma- nauna sila ng konti. Pero hindi ibig sabihin nun, eh, mahina na tayo. Okay? Game. Equation construction. We have a video nito on YouTube. And again, if you watch the entire series, the bit.ly slash age problems, maintindihan nyo ng maigi yan kasi hinimay natin yun sa isang lesson pero dadaanan din natin ngayon. Then, on top of that, hindi lang enough na naintindihan mo yung equation kasi meron ka pang tense to table translation. Kasi, ang age problems, hindi lang siya nangyayari sa now. ba? Hindi lagi yung kunyari, Rob bought 12 apples. ba? And, uh, picked up eight more. How many apples does Rob have? Yung ganung klase kasing question, linear siya. So, isang time frame lang yun. Sa so, age problems, meron ka pang 20 years ago. Okay, yeah. In 10 years, no, meron kang past, meron kang future. Minsan sa future, dalawang beses. Kasi in 5 years, in 10 years. So, you have to understand kung ano ibig sabihin ng will be, was, is, were, dun sa problem. So, again, may tenses. Eh, ano bang isa sa mga pinakakinatatakutan na topic sa English nating mga Pilipino? Sama ako, ha? Ano yun? Tenses. Bakit? Sa atin kasi medyo simple ang tenses natin, di ba? Pang kasalukuyan, pang inaharap, pang nakaraan. Sa English, maraming, maraming sanga-sanga, no? So, uh, how do we understand it? So, again, we have to really break it down. And then, dun ka pala mag-solve ng equation. Di ba? So, again, there are a lot of skills na dadaanan pag age problems. But that doesn't mean hindi na siya pwedeng gawin. Okay? You really have to just take things a little bit slowly. Okay? Now, hihimayin natin yung same problem. We'll walk, it, we'll walk through it. So, sabi ito, Sean is three times as old as Jean. The first task is to understand the sentence. Okay? So, sabi dito, again, understanding the sentence muna tayo, ha? Hindi pa muna solving, kasi i-break down natin to. Sean is three times as old as Jean. Okay? It's always a good skill, lalo na kung nagsistart pa tayo, na kung hindi mo siya maintindihan, you translate it into your own mother tongue. Okay? Kasi nga, again, ang unong problema is in the language. Sean is three times as old as Jean. Sa Tagalog, okay, pasensya na kasi, ano, Filipino ang Tagalog ang aking first, uh, ang aking language na hindi English. No? So, kung kayo, meron, kung you do Hiligay non, you do Cebuano, you can translate it, no? Kung paano nyo siya sasabihin. So, si Sean daw ay, okay, ang edad niya ay tatlong beses nung kay Jean. Kay Jean. Si Sean. So, tanong, sinong mas matanda? Si Sean o si Jean? 
ang mas matanda si Sean. Tama? Kasi ita time stream mo yung kay Jean para makuha mo yung edad ni Sean. Okay? So yung yun yung yun yung unang understanding doon. Now, if you think about it then in terms of understanding the the sentence Sorry, nagbubuntong hininga si Haley kasi gusto niya talaga sumama sa screen. Uh, you have to look at yung equation construction. Ang sabi natin, ang sa equation construction, ang is is equal to what? Ano ibig sabihin ng is? Is is equal. So, ibig sabihin nun, yung age ni Sean is equal to what? Three times. Ano ibig sabihin ng three times? This is multiplication, right? Three times as old as si Jean. Na kung si Jean ang ex, kasi siya ang hinahanap sa problem, ibig sabihin nun, yung edad ni Sean is 3x. So si Jean is x, si Sean now becomes 3x. Now the next question is kailan? Kailan ito nangyayari? Now again, look at yung tense. Sabi dito is... Ang is ginagamit natin sa past, present, future. <laughs> Last ng hilik ni Hili. Okay. Ang is ay ginagamit natin sa present tense. Di ba? So this is happening now. Alright? So the first, that's the first thing that we have to understand. Okay? So Sean is three times as old as Jean. So kung si Jean ay X, ang edad ni Sean is now 3X. Now, why does this matter? Kasi ang next nating gagawin would be the table. But without understanding that, you wouldn't know. So, ganito ha. I have a quick quiz right here. Three questions. If you want more, meron tayong video sa YouTube on this. Ang challenge is for you to find kung ano yung edad nitong mga ito, ni PJ, ni Peter, at ni Karen, kung ang mga reference point natin ay itong mga ex na to, which is his son, Donna, and Jackie. Okay? So, three questions. For you to answer, I'll play you in dun sa ating choices na kanta. Okay. So, yes. Okay, JM. Um, Magtitake daw siya ng PNPA Civil Service Exam. Go ahead and check out. Uh, you can start with all the YouTube videos that we have on the Team Laika channel. Those will help you with PNPA CAT and Civil Service Exam. Okay? Yan. Lahat ng mga English, Math, and Logic. Go and check those out. Okay? So, sagutan na natin ito. Ayan. Um, we also have a, a study guide, by the way. So, ganito na lang. Um, follow this Facebook page. Ipopost namin within the day yung study study guide para dun sa mga mag-e-exam na gahabol for PNPA CAT. Ayan. At hindi nyo pa yung nakikita. Ipopost namin yung link. Download nyo yung free study guide na yon. May PDF siya. Kiklik nyo na lang yung topic uh, para dalhin kayo dun sa playlist kung nasan yung mga yon. Okay? Game. So, PJ is four times as old as his, his son. Tingnan natin yung mga sagot. Mr. Nice Guy says, number one, four X daw si PJ. Yes, that's correct. Kasi si PJ is, ang ibig sabihin ng is, is equal. So, si PJ is four times as old as his son. So, four times X or four X na lang. Okay? Yung second naman, and yan, sabi ni Matthew Fulhensho, half X daw. Yes, that's correct. Kasi this time, si Peter naman, is half Donna's age. Half of what? Yung kay Donna's age, which is now or X. Okay? Now, next. Karen is 23 years younger than Jackie. Ano yung sabihin nun? So, si Karen, si K, is equal to 23 years younger. Okay, ito na. Pag sinabing younger, okay, ano yung sabihin nun? Kung, kung nari lang ha, kung ako si Karen, okay, at ako ay 23 years na mas bata kay Jackie. Okay? Anong kailangan kong gawin sa edad ni Jackie para makuha ko yung edad ko? Kung 100 years old, kunyari na lang ha, kung 100 years old si Jackie, okay, at siya ay mas matanda kay Karen, kasi nga 23 years younger si Karen, anong gagawin ko sa 100? Dadagdagan ko ba o babawasan ko ng 23? Babawasan ko. Tama? So si Karen is going to be ex- Yung kay Jackie, minus 23. Kasi 23 years siyang mas bata kaysa kay Karen. Okay? So, yan yon. Now, i-flip natin ha. Paano kung nakalagay 23 years older than Jackie? Kung older, ano mangyayari? 
this will become k is equal to x plus 23. Okay? So again, yun yung sinasabi natin, one word can change the entire thing. So you really have to break it down. <coughs> you, sorry. You really have to understand each little word nakasama dun sa problem. Okay? Now we have more exercises. Again, go and visit yung bit.ly slash hproblems. Yung second video dyan sa series na yun, yung part two, meron tayong buong quiz din dyan with extra questions. Go ahead and check that out. Okay? Now, babalikan natin yung ating problem. Okay? Sabi dito, Sean is three times as old as Jean. Eight years from now, Sean will be twice as old as Jean. How old is Jean? Ang next step, kapag marunong ka na, okay, naiintindihan ko na kung ano yung, ano yung kailangan kong gawin. Okay? Hindi ko na alam ko anong gagawin ko next. Ang next step is you have to create a table. Whether you're using yung algebra, sin gagawa ka ng equation, or you're going to use the table technique, which, will, which I'll teach you then later. Pagdating sa exams, yun yung ginagawa ko. You really have to build a table. Okay, so Sean is three times as old as Jean. Eight years from now, Sean will be twice as old as Jean. How old is Jean? Ilalagay na natin siya sa table. Nasabi natin kanina, ang table is a tense problem. Bakit? Kasi kapag tense, okay, yung inintindi natin, maiintindihan natin na, ah, kaya pala siya may table. Ah, yun pala yung ilalagay ko sa table. Bakit? Ano po yung components ng table natin? Ang table natin, dalawa ang ilalagay natin. Dalawang T. Okay? Yung tao, sin ko sino yung mga involved sa problema, and yung time period. Okay? Time period. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Yung ating mga tao, ilalagay natin dito sa ating rows. Okay? Dito natin sila, sila ilalagay. Tapos each time period, ilalagay natin sa isang column. Okay, so unahin natin yung tao muna. Ilalagay natin agad si Sean at saka si Jean. Now, the next question is, ilan ang time period sa tanong na ito? Na alam na natin, sabi natin kanina, yung is, is the present. ba Present tense yan eh. Meron pa bang iba? Now, if you notice, meron tayong 8 years from now and ang nakalagay is will be. Which means, itong 8 years from now is where? In the past or in the future? Ayan. It is in the future. No? Bakit? Kasi po, 8 years from now, 8 years mula ngayon, will be. So, it's in the future. Okay? Meron pa ba? Wala na. No? Wala nang iba. Kung merong 20 years before, okay, o 10 years ago, Meron pang past, pero wala naman. Meron ka lang now and the future. Now, yung now and future, ilalagay natin siya ngayon dun sa table. Yun naman yung column. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun dito, ilalagay ko yung now. Dito yung future, which is in 8 years. Now, bakit ko, eh coach, bakit malagay yung now bago yung in, 10, in 8 years? Dahil yun ang nauna sa problem? Hindi po. Nilalagay ko dito yung column depende sa kung kailan sila nangyayari. So, ganito, again, ha? It has to be like this. So, past, present, future. Bakit? Kasi in our heads, sa utak natin, mas madali natin naiintindihan yung flow na yon. Past muna, bago yung present, bago yung future. Okay? Bakit? Kasi alam din natin na kapag nag-move ako in 8 years, yung edad sa now, dadagdagan ko siya ng 8. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Kunwari lang ha, kung ako po ay 25 years old ngayon, kunwari lang, 25 years old ngayon, in 5 years, ilang taon ako? 30, right? 30 years old. Saan ko kinuha yung 30, Jane? 25 plus 5, right? Now, 5 years ago, ilang taon ako? Kung 25 ako ngayon, 5 years ago, I was 20, right? 20. Bakit 20? Kasi 25 minus 5. Nagigets? Okay, so again ha, kapag nag-move ako from now to the future, I will add plus 8. Pag nag-move ako to the past, this will be minus 8. Kaya lang wala namang ganun sa problem, so hindi na natin sila lagay. Okay? So again, now and in 8 years. Now, why does this matter? Kasi lalagay na natin yung information na nilagay natin kanina. Sabi natin, kung si Jean, kasi ang tanong, how old is Jean? So ibig sabihin ko, sino yung hinahanap? Siya yung X, tama? Yan yung rule natin sa algebra. So, si Jean, siya na ngayon magiging X. 
Okay? Now, anong ke, kailang Jean? Kailan? Anong edad ni Jean? Now or in the future? Ang sabi dito sa tanong, how old is? Hindi how old will Jean be? Kasi kung will, future yung nahanap eh. Is. So, ibig sabihin, yung Jean now, yun yung ex. Okay? Now, kung si Jean now yung ex, ang sabi, da, sabi natin, first line, Sean is three times as old as Jean in the now. Dito yon. So, si Sean ngayon is equal to three times as old as si Jean, which is napag-usapan na natin, X. So, ibig sabihin si Sean now is 3X. Okay? So, tayo dyan. Yun lang, yung nakuha natin dun sa unang sentence pa lang yan, at saka dun sa fact na si Jean ang hinahanap sa tanong. Okay? Now, next. In eight years, anong mangyayari? Okay, pupunayin ko lang yung table. Kung si Sean ay 3X ngayon, in eight years, ilang taon si Sean? Dadagdagan ko lang ng 8. So, this will be si Sean magiging 3x plus 8. Si Jean din, in 8 years, magiging x plus 8. Okay? So, yan muna. Table. Table lang ang goal natin. So, again, ang gusto kong makuhang skill ninyo is in building the table. How do I turn this sentence into a table? Hanapin ko yung tenses. Kasi ang... Rows ng table ay yung tao, ang columns ay yung time period. Okay. Now, I'll say this, no? Why do a lot of people struggle with this? And again, okay lang. For those of you na kuha niyo, it's good for you, no? Pero we're, we're keeping this this simple para dun sa mga umahabol pa lang. Kasi sometimes, di ba, for those who know what to do, automatic na to. Pero some people, hindi pa automatic. And minsan, ang ginagawa lang natin, kinokopya lang natin. Di ba? Kung ano yung nakalagay sa board, kokopyahin natin. Parang, okay, so ito yung gagawin. Pero hindi lahat nag-click eh. Kung bakit, eh bakit naging 3x plus 8 siya? Bakit naging x plus 8? Kaya natin siya yung hinihimay. Okay? Okay, now, it's the same table ha. Same table. Kinokopya ko lang dito sa baba para may space tayo mag-solve. Ang, ano nang next step ko? Kung walang options, you will have to form the equation. Yung algebra na equation. Yung formula. Saan ko siya kukunin? Now, if you notice, nasulat na natin tong part na ito. Right? Dito natin kinuha, ito. Kaya ito nabuo dun sa first sentence. May pangalawang sentence pa, which is hindi pa natin iniintindi. Ang sabi dito sa next sentence, 8 years from now, so kailan yun? Ito yun. 8 years from now, Sean will be. Okay? Equality uli yun. So in 8 years... Kasi yun yung timetable. Sean will be. So, ilan ba si Sean nito? Sean is 3x plus 8. Kukopyahin ko lang yun. 3x plus 8 will be, so magiging equal, will be, ano daw? Twice, ito na naman, bagong sentence to. Twice as old as Jean. So, ibig sabihin sa 8 years, yung edad ni Jean, which is x plus 8, Twice non, so two times, ng x plus 8, yun ang magiging edad ni Sean. Nakuha ba yun? Saan ko kinuha yun? Again, dito lang, sa sentence ito. In 8 years, which is itong mga variable na ito, Sean, ito yung edad ni Sean, 3x plus 8, ito lang po yun. Ilagyan kong araw ha, para mas visual. Sean will be, ito yun, twice as old as Jean. Nasaan yun? Ito yung kay Jean. 8 x plus 8, tinimes 2 lang natin. Kasi sabi dito eh, twice as old as Jean. Nagets? Okay? So again ha, yun yung process nun. Kung medyo mabilis pa rin ito sa inyo, go and watch yung series natin sa YouTube. May isang video dedicated to just forming the table. Okay? Now, now that I have an equation like this, ano na yung gagawin ko? Pwede ko na siya isolve. Right? Kung naghahanap ng solution ang teacher ninyo, okay, ito yung papakita nyo sa kanya. So, paano natin ito isosolve? 3x plus 8 is equal to, yung 2, i-distribute natin sa x at 8. So, this will be 2x plus 16. Kasi 8, ano lang yun ha? Saan ko kinuha yun? 2 times x, 2 times 8. 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 8 is 16. Again, dito na yung sinasabi natin yung fourth skill. is about solving algebraic equations. Okay? Finding x. Equalities. Meron din tayong full lesson on equalities sa YouTube. Finding X. Finding X and Y. Hanapin nyo na lang din siya. Okay? 
So now that we have this, ang goal natin maiwan yung x sa isang side. Kasi ang x dapat iniiwan. Okay? So ibig sabihin nun, yung 2x pwede ko siyang ilipat dito. Okay? By doing yung kabaliktaran niya. So you have 3x minus 2x. Tapos itong 8 naman na ito, ililipat ko rin siya sa kabila. Gagawin ko rin yung kabaliktaran. So plus 8 siya dito. Sa kabila, magiging minus 8 siya. 16 minus 8. Okay? Kung itong part po na ito hindi nyo naiintindihan, hanapin niyo yung series natin ang tawag equalities, solving equalities. Okay? Panoorin sa bahay. Okay. So you have 3x minus 2x. This is going to be x is equal to 16 minus 8 which is 8. Yan ang sagot. Okay? Now again, ito yung sabi natin, no? akala natin, ay, madali lang yan. Pag may learning gaps, may problema. Bakit? Kasi 3x minus 2x, this is combining like terms. ba? Adding and subtracting variables. May video lesson din tayo niyan, ha? Combining like terms. Okay? Panoorin nyo na lang din. Ito, yung solving quantities, yung pag tawag nila transposition, no? Or basically just doing the same thing on both sides. Meron din tayong video niyan. Meron din kaming collab ni number bender na ginawa namin yan. So, nasa YouTube na rin po yan. Okay? So, the answer is x is equal to 8. So, ibig sabihin, no, si Jean, dahil siya yung tinawag nating X, ito, very important to, ha? Kaya tinatawag nating X yung nawawala. Para pag sinolve mo, isang beses ka lang solve Kasi yun na yun. Eight na agad yung sagot. Okay? Now, tingnan natin kung anong gagawin ko kung may options. Okay? O yung mga mag-e-exam dyan, kaway-kaway, yung mga mag-PNPA CAT, Napolcom, Civil Service, I'll show you something that I use all the time. It's called the table technique. Para hindi na ako mag-algebra pagdating sa, sa exams. Okay? Kasi bakit? Ito yung sasabihin ko, madali, halos lahat ng exam madali. Ang problema, time. Kulang sa time. Jiggy, meron po ba sa, sa stat and prob? Yes. YouTube. Type nyo lang. Like a statistics, like a probability. Mahahanap nyo siya sa YouTube. Okay? Now, anong gagawin natin dito? Here is a, this is a trick na tuturo ko rin to sa, usually sa paid, okay? Sa paid review program natin, um, sa live, so sa online. You can use the table technique para masolve siya nang hindi ko na kailangan isolve yung equation na ganito, yung mahaba. Okay? Kung ayaw ko dumaan dito, kasi hindi naman kailangan ipakita yung solution sa exam, ito yung trick. Okay? Let me show you. Same table na ginawa natin kanina. Again, ang sabi natin, sa pababa, rows, these are the tao. Dito yung time period. Okay? So, tao, time period. Surat lang natin uli yung pangalan nila. You have Sean and you have Jean. Okay? Tapos here we have now and this is in 8 years, which is sabi natin, plus 8. Right? Okay. Sabi dito, Sean is three times as old as Jean. <clears throat> Again, note what I'll do with the table, ha? Si Jean ang hinahanap. Okay. Yung edad daw ni Sean, kung galing ka sa edad ni Jean, ang importante dito is the arrows. This is three times. So, times three. Okay, ulitin ko yan, ha? Sabi dito sa first sentence, Sean is three times as old as Jean. So, yung edad ni Jean, pag tinimes three ko, lalabas yung edad ni Sean. Ang important na skill sa table technique is drawing the arrows. Okay. If you notice, may arrowhead tayo dito. Nakaturo siya dyan. Bakit? Para alam ko kung kaninong edad ang multiply. Kasi pag hindi ko siya nilagyan, pwede siya interchangeable. Hindi eh, mo alam kung sino yung multiply mo sa three. Again ha, tinanslate ko lang sa table yung sinabi sa first sentence. Jean times three is yung edad ni Sean. Next, sabi, eight years from now, so dito yon. Sean will be twice as old as Jean. So, ibig sabihin, itong eight years from now na to, itong lead natin doon sa buong sentence, lahat yan mangyayari in eight years, yung edad daw ni Sean will be at ilan? Twice nung kay Jean. So, ibig sabihin, ito, pag nag-move siya pa ganun, times two, lalabas yung edad ni Sean. Okay? Ulitin natin yun, ha? Sabi, Sean will be twice as old as Jean. So, yung edad ni Jean, times 2, lalabas yung edad ni Sean. Tapos na ako mag-drawing. Bakit? Ang next step is trial and error. Okay? Using the table. 
Na again, you can choose what to do. Kung mabilis kayo mag-equation, mag-equation kayo. Pero kung hindi nyo yun ma-figure out or nababagalan kayo sa salili nyo doon, this could be a fix. Bakit? Anong gagawin ko? Susubukan ko lang yung ibang mga variables. So, alam na natin, sinolve natin yung equation kayo na answer is 8. Itatry natin kung iba yung isasagot natin. Dalawa yung 12. So, lagyan natin yung 12. Ito ha, lalagyan ko ng color. Yung 12 would be color purple. Okay. Yung 12, ilalagay ko sa kung sino yung nawawala or hinahanap. Ang sabi, how old is Jean? Is, so we mean it's in the now. Tanong, pag nilagay ko dito yung 12, okay, si Jean, ilang taon ngayon si Sean? 12 times 3 is 36. So kung 12 si Jean, si Sean magiging 36. Para ma-check ko kung tama yung 12, kailangan tama siya sa lahat ng kahon. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Kung 36 si Sean ngayon, in 8 years, magiging 44 years old siya. Kasi 36 plus 8 is 44. Okay? 36 plus 8 is 44. Now, kung si Jean naman ay 12, in 8 years, siya ay magiging 20 years old. Now, our next question would be, tama ba siya dito sa condition na ito? Times 2. 20 times 2 is 40. Tama? Hindi 44. So, mali ito. Yan. Lakihan natin yung screen ko para mas makita nila. <clears throat> so, 20 times 2 is 40, hindi 44. Ibig sabihin, mali yung 12. Nagigets? Again ha, sa table technique, the drawing mo lang yung table, itatry mo yung mga options kung ano yung tatama. Okay, try natin yung 14 ha. Ibang kulay naman. So, yung 14, gawin natin uh, green. Okay, para lang makita ninyo visually. Kung 14 si Jean... Times 3. 14 times 3, 30. That is 42. Si Sean, 42 siya ngayon. In 8 years, magiging 50 years old siya. Si Jean naman na 14 plus 8, magiging 22. O, 22 times 2 is 44, hindi 50. So, ibig sabihin, mali rin yung 14. Ganun lang siya. Trial and error. Subukan natin ngayon yung kay... Yung 8, which is again, alam natin kanina, yun na yung tamang sagot kasi sinolve natin sa equation. Pero tinan nyo sa table, ganun din ba siya? Tinan natin ha, gawin natin color, ano ba? Sige, okay na yung red. Kung 8 si Jean, times 3, 8, 16, 24. Okay. 24 plus 8 is 32. Okay. 8 plus 8 is 16. Now, tanong, 16 times 2 ba 32? Yes. Tama tayo doon. At dahil tama siya sa table, yun yung sagot. Nagigets? Okay. Now, bakit ko tinuturo sa inyo yung table technique? Kasi number one, ginagamit ko siya. Number two, marami na ako natulungan na makapasa rin ng exams by teaching them the table technique. Ito yung tinuturo ko doon sa live review event natin. Pangatlo, kasi it cuts the process. Ano ibig sabihin nun? This time, ang kailangan mo lang ng skills ay reading comprehension, Drawing the table, and then trial and error na lang yung rest. Nagigets? So again, you have your options. Pwede ka dumaan sa equation, pwede ka dumaan dito. Ang importante, tama yung sagot. Okay? Now, if it takes more time for you to figure that out, again, meron tayong complete playlist. Ayan, bit.ly slash age problems. O rin yan, lahat ng mga mag-college address exams, Civil Service Exam, Napolcom. Panoorin nyo na lang sa bahay para mas maraming practice. Okay? But this time, I'm going to give you one problem. You will try. Ikaw lang muna. Okay? Try nyo siya, ha? Whether dadaan kayo sa traditional method, algebra, or sa table technique, ibibigay ko rin sa inyo options. Try nyo lang. Kayo lang mag-isa. Kasi pag hindi, pag, 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 uh, pagkasama ninyo, ako yung sinasabi ng mga students ko minsan, pagkasama ko po kayo, coach, madali. Pag ako na lang mag-isa, hindi ko alam mo sa mag-start. So how do you fix that? You try it. Okay? So ito. Oh, mali slide. Yan. Sige. I'll give you time. Okay. So solve na natin, ha? Try natin to. Unang tanong, ano yung tsura ng table? Okay. Bakit? Ilan ba yung tao? So, you have Billy and Alex. So, ibig sabihin, ang rows natin ay dalawa. Okay. Tapos, meron kang ilang time period. Sabi dito, meron kang is, which is now. Tapos, in 14 years. Ang in 14 years, okay, that would be in the future.
future. So, meron kang future. Tapos meron ka pang two years ago. Two years ago is in the past. Okay? Past. Yan. Is Spencer Martin, paano po pag walang choices? Uh, I discussed that earlier. Go and watch the full playlist na lang. Uh, pinakita ko rin kung paano yung gagawin. Okay, game. So, tatlong time period na ngayon. You have past, which is two years ago. Present, yung is, and then in 14 years. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, you have past, present, future. Tatlo na. So, Billy, Alex, this is two years ago. Ngayon ko lang minus two, two years ago. This is now, and this is in 14 years, which is plus 14. Okay? So, again, ha? Yun lang. Yun muna yung table natin. Now, kung gagawin ko tong equation, okay, unahin natin yung, hindi, unahin muna natin table, tapos check natin using equation. Kung gagawin ko tong equation, magiging x yung how old is Alex now, which is here. Pero kung gagawin ko na yung table technique, kasi meron naman tayong options, ang gagawin ko, bibilugan ko lang muna, okay? Sabi, Billy's current age is thrice Alex's age. So, kung yung Alex's age is here, times 3 nito, again, importante yung arrowhead, ituturo nyo doon, times 3, Noong kay Billy now. Okay? Times 3 yan dapat. Next, if Billy's age in 14 years, saan yun? Billy in 14 years, ito yon, Itong part na to. Bibilugan ko lang uli. If ito daw, is, so equal daw siya sa 5 times ng alin? Alex's age 2 years ago. Kailan yon? 5 times ng Alex's age 2 years ago. Ito yon, Tama? Alex 2 years ago. Ito. Etong B in 14 years times 5 nito. Ayan, may arrow tayo ulit. Times 5. Okay? So again ha, ito times 3 dapat lumabas yon. Ito times 5 dapat lumabas yon. Ang tanong, how old is Alex now? Okay, may mga hula kayo, di ba? So nakita ko, ayan, meron tayong mga hula. May nagsabi na ang sagot ay C, may B, may D. So subukan natin yung C. Okay? Yung C, kung C ang sagot, kukulayin natin ng green, ha? Kung C ang sagot, 24, talagay ko yung 24 sa nawawalang part, which is how old is Alex now. So, this is 24 times 3. So, 60 plus 12, 72. Kung 72 si Billy ngayon, plus 14, that is 86. At si Alex naman now, kung siya ay 24 years old, 2 years ago, ago siya ay 22. Ang tanong, 22 times 5 ba 86? Hindi. Tama? So, ibig sabihin, hindi C ang sagot. Yan, buburahin ko lang para may space tayo. Yan. So, ibig sabihin nun, this is wrong. Oh, nasobrahan ng bura. Sorry. Okay. Yan, times 5 to. Times 5. So, ito ay mali. Next. Okay. Subukan natin yung 12. May sumagot ng 12 eh. Kung 12 ang color purple, yan. Kung 12 si Alex ngayon, times 3 ang edad ni Billy magiging 36. Which means kung 36 siya ngayon, in 14 years siya ay magiging 50 years old. Tama? At kung 12 naman si Alex ngayon, big sabihin 2 years ago, siya ay 10. Okay, check natin. 10 times 5 ba ay 50? Yes. So the answer is 12. Okay? Yun ang sagot natin, 12. Yan. Ito, na yung, uh, ito na yung sagot ng full screen ha, kasi pag nawala ako sa frame, mawawala yung boses ko, so hindi nyo maridinig. So again ha, tinry lang natin, 12 times 3 is 36, 10 times 5 is 50. Now, if I want to create an equation, anong mangyayari sa akin? This will be x, this will be 3x, this is going to be a minus 2, okay? So x minus 2, and then this will be 3x plus 14. Ang magiging equation natin kung kailangan ng solution, okay, will be yung sinabi dito which is 5 times daw yung 2 years ago. So 5 times si x plus, eh, x minus 2 is equal to yung age ni Billy in 14 years which is 3x plus 14. Ito yung equation natin. Magiging 5x minus 10 is equal to 3x plus 14. Iwan natin yung x sa isang side, dilipat yung 3 doon. So, this will be 5x minus 3x is equal to 14 plus 10. 
2x is equal to 24. Tapos, i-divide natin siya pareho by 2. So, x is equal to 12. Pareho lang din. Yan. Sorry, medyo nagmamadali ako, no? Hanggang 12 lang kasi tayo. Pero ito yung equation niyan. So, whether sinolve mo like this or sinolve mo like this, kung hindi naman kailangan ng solution kasi ito ay aptitude exam, civil service exam, PNPA CAT, AFSAT, NAPOLCOM, PILASAT, LAE, UP LAE, or whatever. Nakuha mo pa rin yung sagot. So, saan ka mas mabilis? You have to practice to know. So, payo ni Ate Laika for this session before we end. You cannot solve what you don't understand. Right? So, uh, hindi lang ito sa math, hindi lang sa age problems, hindi lang sa kahit anong math problem, pati sa buhay. Uh, sometimes, di ba, pag may mga problema or kahit may mga taong nagpapapayo sa atin, gustong-gusto natin nagpapayo agad, gusto natin na itong gagawin mo, itong gagawin mo. Or dapat itong mangyari, dapat ito. But the truth is, we can't solve things na hindi natin naintindihan. So, kadalasan, it pays to first listen, try to understand ano yung pinanggagalingan, ano yung bakit saan galing tong problema na to, ano yung realidad, before we solve it. No? Madali kasi sabihin na, hindi madali lang yan, ganito gagawin mo. Abaon ka sa utang, ito gagawin mo. No? Um, but sometimes, you have to understand first. Or minsan yung mga nasasabi na, Eh, ano ba yun yung lagi sinasabi na ano, pag, pag pinanganak ka daw mahirap, hindi mo kasalanan, pero pag namatay ka, mahirap kasalanan mo na. And sometimes people say that na parang parang madali, no? Pero actually, depende rin sa sitwasyon eh. Kasi if you, even if you watch uh, yung mga documentary, gano, no? we just saw one uh, last night, yung sa eyewitness, kay Atom Araulio. Maraming taong masipag naman, di ba? Ang sipag naman talaga. Pero again, with the lack of opportunity, hanggang doon lang. So, hindi naman natin sasabihin na dapat, ano, kasalanan mo na yan, mahirap ka. No? Hindi, hindi ganun eh. Kasi kung, kung walang, wala kang education, wala kang access, diba? walang tumulong sa'yo, walang nagbigay ng opportunity sa'yo, may limitasyon din. So, again, yun yun eh. We have to understand bago natin isolve. So, solve, you cannot solve what you don't understand. Alright, so thank you for watching till the end of this video. If you want to learn more, if you want to watch the other videos I'm going to be making, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Turn your notifications for all the updates that we have. Again, we have a lot of people who can soon. And uh, thank you for joining the team. I know this community has been kind to me for the past six years now. And I'm so happy that I get to welcome you as part of this team as well. Thanks guys and uh, I'll see you soon.